Marco Rubio. They're not in reaction to our last caller who thinks that lifting the embargo is good. And by the way, Rand Paul has come out in support of it. Well, I'm just telling you, Rand Paul has distanced himself. Once, I think once Rand Paul saw, saw Jeb come out against this, this is Republican presidential politics. Rand Paul's, aha, I got an opportunity here to stake out a different position than Jeb. So I think that's what that is about. I'm not saying that Rand Paul doesn't really mean it. I'm just saying, okay, so Jeb's come out against the embargo or the normalization. Uh, the embargo being lifted, so Rand Paul, aha, I can go someplace that Jeb isn't. Which is uh, an attractive thing. Marco Rubio said that a top State Department official was dishonest with him about the Obama regime's plans to change its policy on Cuba. Tony Blinken and Standby Soundbites uh, 8 and 9. Uh, Tony Blinken, a newly confirmed Deputy Secretary of State, told Rubio at his confirmation hearing uh, last month that the regime would not unilaterally change its Cuba policy without full consultation with Congress. So this this newly confirmed Deputy Secretary of State during his confirmation hearings promised Rubio and the, and the people in the community, oh, no, 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 we would never unilaterally change our policy with Cuba, not without consulting you first, Senator. And, of course, the consultation didn't happen. They lied again. Rubio's out telling the, telling the story. Blinken was confirmed by the Senate Tuesday. Blinken gets confirmed and Obama makes the move. Rubio told the Weekly Standard he was dishonest with us. He was clearly evasive. And it was on Wednesday, after Blinken is confirmed on Tuesday, that Obama announces the move on Cuba. Here are the audio sound bites. November 19, 2014, during a Senate Committee on Foreign Relations hearing on the Blinken nomination of Deputy Secretary of State. Rubio said, do you anticipate uh, during the rest of the president's term that there will be any unilateral change or any change in U.S. sanctions or conditions against Cuba, absent Cuba meeting any conditions of democracy, human rights, so forth, the things outlined in that legislation? Anything that in the future might be done on Cuba would be done in full consultation with the real meaning of the word consultation that I just alluded to with this committee. Well, it was the real... Well, he lied. But here, this is typical liberal qualification. Well, anything that in the future might be done in Cuba would be done in full consultation, with the real meaning of the word consultation that I just alluded to with this committee. So I guess he's got a different definition of consultation. Consultation is Obama will consult with himself and decide to do it, and that means they've consulted. But Rubio, is on point, I was lied to. This guy lied, and he was confirmed Tuesday, and then Wednesday, <laughs> Obama lifts him <laughs> Then Rubio, Rubio said, next, okay, look, there's been some chatter, and I understand some of it's just chatter, as happens in this town. I understand there's been some chatter that somehow over the next couple of years, at the end of his term, President Obama may seek to make some changes with Cuba, perhaps even unilaterally towards U.S. sanctions and policy in Cuba. Is that being contemplated right now? Mr. Blinken, is that being contemplated absent real Democrat opening? So let me translate. Rubio says to me, okay, you say you will not unilaterally change anything in Cuba policy without consulting us. Okay, how about the next two years? Are you going to, are there any plans to normalize relations with Cuba without requiring Cuba to make any concessions? Are you planning on doing anything in the next two years? It depends on Cuba and the actions that they take. And what we've seen as I just alluded to, our actions in exactly the wrong direction, the detentions, the harassment. They talk about wanting to improve relations. I have not heard you say, point blank, that absent democratic openings, we're not going to see actions on the part of this administration to weaken the current embargo and sanctions against Cuba. Unless Cuba is able to demonstrate that it is taking uh, meaningful steps to move forward, I don't see how you move forward in the relationship. That's just last month, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just last month. Now, what step did Cuba take? Whoa, 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 hang on. There's been a prisoner exchange here. We got back our guy, Gross. And by the way, Gross was being tortured. You know, this Gross guy lost in five years like 100 pounds. And uh, I, it blinded. 
he lost teeth, blind in one eye. But there's a picture. You may have seen this by now, depending on how much you surf the web. There's a picture of Gross in his lawyer's office. Upon arriving home from Cuba, his, his, his a picture in his, in his lawyer's office. He's there with a babe and, and uh, two, two, two people in the lawyer's office and, and, and Gross. And they're pouring over documents and doing things to make it look official. And right there on the wall, in the lawyer's office is a picture of Che Guevara in Gross's lawyer's office. Now, Che Guevara is only a mass murderer, but he's a hip mass murderer because he looks cool and hip. He wore the rebel hat and had the beard. I mean, he looked good in a Bond movie. He's just perfect. Hollywood loves Che Guevara, mass murderer, an enforcer for Castro. And he's held in honor in the uh, in the office of this gross guy's law firm 